Hello, I'm Matt Arndt, and today I want to review two additional features of InCommand HVAC, programming a schedule and mode B. If you're not already familiar with InCommand HVAC, you'll want to review our previous how-to video on InCommand HVAC. Programming a schedule allows you to program an alternate temperature for each zone. For example, you leave for the day, but you want the unit to be cooled to 66 degrees when you get home at 630. You can create a schedule to start cooling the RV down at 530. Let's practice setting a schedule for that example. From your in-command DC, select the zone you want to set a schedule for. Select the clock icon and the schedule will appear on the screen. Use the up and down arrows to set the desired temperature to 66 degrees. Then use the up and down arrows to set your start and stop times, 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Now press the home icon. Then confirm the changes by pressing save. Press the circle under the word schedule and you should see the schedule activated. You should also see the start and stop times appear and that dot under the word schedule illuminate. Now let's do the same thing but using the app this time. Select the clock icon at the bottom and the schedule will appear. Using the slide bar, set your temperature. Tap the start time and a clock will appear to select your desired time. Set your time and then hit OK. Do the same for the stop time. Tap the check mark to complete the schedule. Press the circle under the word schedule and the schedule will be activated. The circle will now be illuminated and the start stop times will appear and remain visible. To turn the schedule off, press the blue circle under the word schedule again. It will turn back to a dim circle and the start stop times will disappear. It's very important to understand that as long as the schedule is left on, it will run every day. Once a schedule has reached its stop time, that particular zone will turn off completely and will not run again until the scheduled period begins again at the set start time the next day. However, you can override the schedule at any time from the DC or the app. The second item we are covering is Mode B. To avoid the system shutting off completely after a scheduled time, you can utilize Mode B, which allows you to maintain a temperature when the schedule is not running. Let's say I don't want it to get warmer than 72 degrees. Select the clock icon on the DC to go back into the schedule, and to the right you will see Mode B. Tap the circle dot under Mode B to turn it on. Set the temperature to 72. Hit the check mark on the app or home icon on the DC to save the changes, and then make sure the schedule is still turned on. Now I've set a schedule for 66 degrees from 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., and I've set Mode B to 72 degrees. So at 10.30 p.m. the system will automatically switch to 72 degrees until you manually change it or the schedule begins again the next day. You can always override a schedule at any time through the DC or through the phone app. As long as the schedule is left on, it'll run the next day. If you don't want the schedule to run, you need to go back into the phone or back through the DC and turn it off. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more operational and DIY videos.